Liberation man. I like talking to you. You one of the best people on YouTube, man. And that's real. And I understand, you know, I was kind of harsh in that video. But you know that ain't how I look at it. I was mad, man. And and I'm telling the truth, man. You 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 do things and everything is fine and every now and then it's just this one person of our color that shows up and shows the entire ass. You know, and you know, I'm, you're right. I was wrong for using certain words that, you know, I beat up on Willie Pete for using. Um, you know, I hate to look at our people in a negative light. Over the last couple of weeks, man, I've been away from this YouTube, you know, and I just, you know, pop in every now and just look a little bit. And then all of a sudden, people are sending me these disturbing videos of how far people have fallen off the track. It's only been five days. Five days and a couple of other days or whatever. You know, a total of eight days, two weeks, fuck it. And all of a sudden, there's black women hate black men. There's three new Willie Peets or something. And then they got the new female Willie Peets to talk about uh, how bad brothers is and all this and that shit. I started what I was doing to counterbalance the bullshit. I could say something positive and, you know, try to enlighten people. Try. Just put forth an effort to try to make people do a little better. Leave. You know, start having video cameras and problems. And as soon as I started working, I noticed your videos are doing the same shit my shit was doing. You didn't have no problem with your videos and all of a sudden the quality of your videos shoot shot to hell and you know, it's like it's like somebody's playing us in a game of chess and the only way we can get through this is to be negative and I can't be negative and yeah you're right ain't no way in life I'm gonna be scared to to, for, to have anything I paid for have somebody put make me put my shit in the pocket nuh uh but that's just how it is in society you know the white kids mean mug and do the same bullshit the black ones do, but you don't see them. I'm broke right now, so today's drink. Got the good old Paps Blue Ribbon today. Yes, your boy is scraping the bottom. Of course, you know you can't really drink on YouTube. This is just the, you know, just the bottle. No real beer in here. It's not the real thing. I don't even believe that. It's like everybody else. I try to have props. So, um, liberation, man. You are right. I was wrong. I had no business calling these women out their name. But I'm tired of trying to be positive and all I guess negative back. Um... I truly believe since everybody else left me hanging, I'm the last one. You you went on off to do your thing, and I, hey, hey, I'm not too far behind you. You understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm right behind you. As long as y'all motherfuckers let me in, <laughs> I'm good. So what I'm trying to say is this, YouTube. No matter how positive you try to be, you get shot down with so much negativity. I mean, over like from the girl going to the prom and the wrong shit. And then my wife showed me some pictures the other day of some prom somewhere in Detroit or some Atlanta or something. And what that girl was wearing, trying to wear to the prom, they should have let her in based on what they let these other ones went in on. That's all I gotta say. I'll let that go. But we as a people, me, you, and a few other people, we need to turn this thing around. We need to start blocking out these negatives and, and work on something positive. And I know I was very negative in my video reply, but you have to look at the big picture. I am tired of going someplace and nobody sees anybody act up no one sees anybody do something stupid until one black dude walks in acting like he's God. He's got his shit and his shit don't stink. He's the baddest motherfucker on the planet testing everybody in the room. 
Why? I'm just so tired of that. Like you said, screw face, mean mug. I told people in one of them videos I did earlier that I feel things a hell of a lot different than other people. I truly have feelings for our people. And yes, I don't want to associate with niggas. No. Because, come on, man. In order to get out of the dirt, you got to get away from dirt. You got to climb up and, and then bring somebody with you. You got to pull the people out of the mud to get their ass clean again, man. So we got to disassociate ourselves with some of these people that are our people. We have to show them a better way from the other side of the fence. When I was a kid, I used to, man, we used to target those who had jobs. He got a job. Let's get him. And when you grow up, you hop the fence, so to speak. I don't do as I did when I was a child because I'm 40 years old now. And I'm tired of seeing the minstrel show. Niggas is skinning and grinning, showing their teeth. And, ooh. I just get tired of it. I get tired of whenever somebody's acting a fool. Well, they're either Mexican or black. Oh, white people this time? Oh, shit. White people ain't airing their dirty laundry on YouTube. Everything that is negative about black people will be polarized on this YouTube. And once the women start talking, that changed my perspective. You know, especially the one that comes off sounding like, hello, she's up in the valley somewhere, and we're in the hood. She only likes white men. White men are so much better. And speaking on that, I'm going to speak on that real quick. I have known a lot of black people in interracial relationships. And when they get in an argument with their spouse or their girlfriend or their boyfriend, the most hurtful thing they can do is drop the N-bomb. And they do it. Now, this black chick talking about what if a brother, brothers be like whooping on side, side of sister's heads and shit. Don't you think that white man will get fed up with the bullshit and whop upside your head too? Hmm? He's most likely to do it. He's been whooping on y'all asses for years. But not all white guys are bad guys. Don't get me wrong. You know, I know a lot of good white guys who have black women who have been with these black women for years. Not, oh, they going out for a few months. No, these people been together some years. And I've never seen them have an argument or none of that shit. But there are some I have seen have arguments. And they ain't pretty. And it's just as bad as when a black guy do it to a black woman, when a white guy do it. It's no difference. Like I said in my videos, ain't no difference between us and them. Except for they have just a little bit more self-respect than we do. They don't put their shit out. Hmm. The Ace of Clubs. Can you see that? Ace of Clubs. I appreciate your reply, man. I look forward to listening to you, Boss Francis Coppola, Father Judgment, and other people. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So my son's talking about the soup is smelling good, so let me get back to the soup. We having turkey soup tonight. Thank you, and hey, I know I didn't give you no closure in this video. You get a hold of somebody who's got something for you. He got something for you from me. You find out this who this person is, and then you contact me through this person, and we ain't gotta worry about the YouTube no more. We can have our debates, and we can have some strategy sessions, and we can put together something that's truly positive. And I'm sorry if I went off on the on the wrong end on this one, but um. You know how I do it. You've been tubed.